Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, um, you know, I took a long nap and I, I sleep is just still on me. I've, I'm, my mind is alert, but my my body is moving kind of slow. I was having muscle spasms uh, real bad. The MS make you do that sometimes. And boy, when you have them, oh, it's horrible. These were in my groin. So I took um, 800 mil milligrams of gabapentin and um, tizanidine. That tizanidine is a booger. I've had almost every muscle relaxer that that is. And that tizanidine is it's the one that puts me down for about two hours. So that's that's why I look just, um, got to shake it. But while I was asleep, I had a dream about my mother. I haven't dreamed about her in a while. Hey, Sonny. <laughs> I haven't dreamed about my mother in a long time. And in the dream, she was in the car. And it was nighttime. And everybody in the house was looking for her. And I was telling them that she was in the car. Look, look. I was moving the blinds and telling them, look, don't you see her? And they didn't see her. But this was just a flash of a dream. But when my mother first died, I guess couple of weeks, maybe a week after her death, uh, I would have dreams about her. She was always in a car and you could, I could talk to her from the car. I couldn't get in the car with her because she had bodyguards around her. And my, my sister was having the same dreams and, and I was able to talk to her for a minute and she told me that she had to leave to go help somebody else. And I said, well, Mama, we need you. She said, no, y'all going to be okay, but I have to do this. And the bodyguards, they got back in the car and they drove off. And I would have these dreams like that. So I don't know why I dream that she's in a car. I don't know. I might look it up in my dream journal. But it's a lot of things that... Um, that goes on and in the world and in our lives, especially when a person calls itself awake. I don't know, that's a term that has been used quite a bit now. I'm awake and to be woke. And I was thinking about being awake and it looks like in the morning, I can have an appointment to the doctor at say eight o'clock and I, I wake up at six but I'm still in the bed I'm woke and do you know I will fall asleep again and miss that appointment and my point is when you awake if you don't get up and do something you're gonna fall asleep again so being a, a, awake it's, it doesn't mean anything if you don't do something. Yes? And I remember my father, he would have people to come pick him up for work. These people would be sitting in the living room and he's in the bedroom and they call him Chuck. Chuck, uh, I'm sitting here waiting on you. Are you, are you how long going to be before you get ready, before you come out? Do you know my daddy would still be in the bed under the covers? He said, oh, man, I'm getting dressed. I, I, in a minute, I'm getting dressed. And I passed by the room. I said, Dad is still in the bed. Why are you telling these people he's getting up? Ten minutes later, the man would call again. and Chuck, what you doing? What's taking so long? My dad said, oh, man, I'm, I'm almost ready. I'm almost ready. And finally, this man got up and came to the bedroom. He said, oh, Sims, fuck you. Chuck, fuck you. I'm gone. Oh, you catch the bus. I'm leaving. I never could figure out why my daddy would do that. And come to find out, my baby brother would do the same thing. So being 
awake and not doing anything, it, it just, you got to get up or you're going to fall asleep again. So many people are waking up and coming into enlightenment and they want to tell the world, I'm awoke, I'm enlightening, and I'm enlightening God, this and this and that. And I, I think about Kanye West and his uh, his journey that he's on now, and I think it's a good thing that he's changing. But he's to me, he's on the verge of being a fanatic. And I just pray that he takes all this enlightenment that he's getting, he said, from Jesus or from God, apply it to himself and let his light shine and, and don't force it on other people. He's on, on the verge of starting a cup because he had a video, and I listened to a lot of it, you know, just to see what's on his mind or where his head is. And he wants his people in his group the ones that are not married, when they're on these fasts and things, he don't want them to have sex and just certain things. And I said, oh, I remember the church I was in, the pastor, the bishop, the good bishop, as I call him. His We had to fast Wednesdays and Saturdays. There was no sex and certain things. It was just, you couldn't do. And Kanye, he, he seems like he's going in that direction. It's probably a lot of fake people following him just the, for the money and for the fame. But you can't be in the bed with people telling them not to have sex. They'll tell you, man, I ain't having sex. And they be in the bed with your wife. So that kind of stuff will uh, just tear, tear Kanye down because he's very fragile. But I don't know how I got on there. This um just stuff on my mind, so but it's it's a lot of a lot of things that have happened to me and mm, I'm just glad my son and other people, my friend, he's seen a lot of it. And when I say that things have happened, they really know that I'm not making it up. I found, I went back and found this book. Let me show it to you. Beyond Illusion and Doubt. And this is just kind of in India, Indian and uh, the Buddhism. It's kind of like what Paramahansa Yogananda was in. I studied with that for a minute. It, it has some good, a good way of life. But... I want to go beyond illusion and doubt because I've had a whole lot of things that I've seen and my son have seen and it seemed like it was an illusion and that was a time when both of us saw a tree that was a tree in the middle of a path and we had to go around this tree and I complain about the tree one day the tree was gone from one evening, we come in from work about 5.30. I'm fussing about the tree. The next morning, we go to work. The tree is gone. Nobody cut that tree down at nighttime. So this tree is gone. And my son said, Mama, maybe the tree was never there. I said, but you saw it and I saw it. He said, we did. The tree was there. I said, but we didn't touch it, did we? He said, no, we never did touch it. So maybe this tree was an illusion. That was a time, oh, I had a different shop downtown. And that was a big dock for the trucks to uh, pick up and deliver. And I don't know, I would just love to sweep. So I'd get out in the dock and sweep. Somehow another sweeping for me is a way the spirit kind of deals with me. And so I sweep. A friend of mine, she irons, and that's how she gets comfort from the spirit. But this particular afternoon, I was sweeping. And I looked up in the sky. It was about 5.30, maybe what you call dusk. But you still could see, you know, 
the sky was still light. I look up in the sky, there's a trail of people, the shadow of people. You could tell if it was a man and a woman and, and, and even children were there. And they were moving in the sky. Just It was a, a maybe 10 or 15 people. And I'm just like, what? And my son saw me. He said, Mom, what you looking at? And he came, he took the steps down in the dark. And then he, I said, look at these people in the sky. He looked. I said, do you see them? He said, Mama, those are people. Those are not clouds. So those are people. And we looked at this for about maybe four to five minutes. Maybe not that long. And then they kind of just vaporized and went away. So these these are illusions. But if you go beyond the illusion, you want to know what you saw. Or maybe these people are going that way and we're going that way. And somehow or another we cross each other in some kind of a dimension. I don't know. But I had a... Someone to make a uh, a post, a comment on one of my videos, the one I made about the entities that sat on my bed. And it was two entities that were on my bed. I could feel the pressure. And this lady, young girl, she uh, uh, said that she feels the presence of a child on her bed and she said they touch her like they kind of tickle her and want to get her attention and she said it's been going on for years and she wants to know who it is and what do they want and I, I replied back if you want to know something you can go to what is called the Akashic Records and and approach them, and if the universe wants you to know who and what, those records are there. But when I learned about the Akashic Records and how to get answers to questions, I said, huh, I've been doing that since I was little. It's like, okay, now this, I'm not crazy. But see, when you're little and you do things, you don't have any questions. You just know it's real and it happens. I believe that's why Christ said, except you become as children, little children, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's not like entering and going up yonder. It's like entering, entering and going within and coming, becoming like a child and no doubt, no fear. And when you become like that, that's when you enter on the inside the depths of your soul that's what christ was talking about you become his children and when i was young man there were so many things happening and i just didn't tell i didn't tell anybody i was just happy to this to be the way i was but you get older and you um let go of childish ways and you become a man or a woman and that's when your worries come in. But um, if going beyond illusion and doubt, I read this book a long time ago, and I tried to read it a little bit of it today, but the, the letters are so small. It's so I said, dog, oh, could I see this stuff a long time ago? And I got it, you know, highlighted, so <laughs> I guess I could see those little uh, words. But anyway, guys, um, I'm going to get off here. This is just a rant and a, not a rant, just a ramble. I'm just talking. But we can go beyond illusion and doubt and uh, become as children. And we will be entertained. The spirit, the soul will entertain us and show us some things. And it's all good. If we if we want it to be good, the fear is what makes things uh, terrify us. So if we let go of fear, we'll be okay. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.